this is going well. The overall challenge, I started both tables on L50 with 100 big mines, so $50 each. And now I'm playing both tables on L200. I think I lost two stacks on L50 while trying to move up. But yeah, now we are sitting there with $200 on the left, $365 on the right. That's all winnings from the start of the $50. Besides those two reloads on L50, gotta admit. But yeah, let's try. Goal is, we have 15 minutes left now. 15 minutes left to reach those $500. And yeah, the longer it takes, the more I might get splashy and risk all the winnings, but let's see. Can still hope, still hope for a big flip or just a cooler for us on the right side, especially any hand might be the one to reach the goal. So on the left side, I can be a little more splashy because I obviously need to get to $250 to at least have the chance with the money going in the middle. 3-7 suited might actually be a nice check raise spot here. A pair plus a backdoor straight draw, set blocker on a board that he's likely C betting too wide. This is the first start, 50 minutes on the clock. We need to go crazy. And this is actually a play that is fine, right? It's like a little too much, but this is like exactly the part of exploit or adjustment I want to make. So ace queen suited here against the recreational player with a nut flush draw here. I'm definitely not checking that back, even though it would be a good play, but we need to get the money in the middle, right? If he has a set, I'm running it for reaching the challenge. That's fine. If he has pocket aids, I want to build a pot and then maybe hit or not, but give ourselves the chance. So this board, I want to mainly see that half pot. So I'm doing it with this hand, even though this hand is probably more of a check back, doesn't want to fold out some ace jacks doesn't want to fold out some king queens. So yeah, trying to build a stack here by building pots when we have equity. 60 big lines to go on the right side. Some work to be done on the left side. 13 minutes on the clock in a sec. Pocket 10s here in a three bet pot. Check is fine on that board. I'm mainly using a half pot C bet on that board. This hand is just in between. It gets called by some weaker pockets. It gets called by some ace king. And now we just have clearly no value. Pocket six is improved, four five improved. We hope for the check down and win against pocket nines, pocket eights, which is definitely happening. And besides that, our hand is kind of over, which obviously sucks. Small bet, it's half pot. He needs to find like the king jack suited floats. Yeah, I blocked the 10 of spades, which is kind of bad. Yeah. I think this is just a fold, just a fold. And now we have, what did I say? $8 in the bank to reload here. That's our winning from NL100 that we couldn't carry over. So we can reload this. On the right side, we actually face a race to our block bet. That looks like some two pairs, not the flush. So I'm actually chasing that to donk on like a queen eight or well, not hearts, maybe small donk. Just this seems to be a recreational sizing wise and yeah, I'm not trying to do anything about it, it's okay. So mainly looking for our chances on the right side. And we need to go a little splashy. Build pots, build pots, give ourselves chances. Now it's 12 minutes on the clock. So I definitely try to make things a little more dicey and, and try to make it happen somehow. Obviously increases the risk of losing it all, but challenge goal is $500. Not the right time to start open raising seven, eight off yet, but I'm loser from every position, just a couple of hands. And I will be loser with three batting building pots. Ace Jack offsuit, great spot for a three bet. You just build a pot, just a little too much, it's like a frequency thing you can do against the cutoff. So it's actually kind of an okay play. Definitely not a cold four bet. That would be just splashing around. That's not the plan. So we want to try and splash smart. So ace five, ace four suited is fine here. Ace three suited seems reasonable. It's not a three bet normally, but it's just close enough that we can go with it and try to build a pot, get a flush in there against the set, whatever. We need to be involved here. We need to be involved. King Jack offsuit, easy one. Nine three, okay, trying to click a little faster. There are 10 minutes on the clock. Nine six offsuit, 10 four offsuit, King eight suit. There are left table seems like this will be a stretch. We need the quick double up there on the left table. I think I should really go crazy on the left table now to increase my chances there. So let's go crazy. Good kings, we need to get 60 big blinds in the middle. Against a good player. He might even bluff four bad. Let's go. Ace three suited. Obviously, no other option but the three bad. Get in the middle. Ooh. Interesting. Small bet or check. Small bet or check. We are super deep, so it's probably more. Eh, it's still small bet or check. Small bet. Build a pot. Build a pot. Left side. C bet half pot. Go crazy. I'm ready to splash my stack away. Ah, <sighs> spades. That sucks. But still, he has like sevens, eights, nines, and so on. Not many queen eggs. If he has spades, he has spades. We need to run this one. We need to run this one. King six suited. Close enough. Close enough. Still, pocket nines, 10x, all potential folds. This is for the challenge. Increased chances. Let's go. Yeah, quo queen 10. Why not king 10? Okay, back to NL50. We lost it here. And here, cold call. Cold call can mean ace queen, 10 jacks usually. So I deny equity from ace queen. I don't expect too many check raises from 10s and jacks here. So I'm building the pot in case I hit a two pair or trips, obviously. Check raise. 
place. Now I got a chase. Ooh, this is exactly the spot we were not looking for. Ay, 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 ay. I don't see any, 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 any freaking bluffs here. Cold calling three bet now going crazy. Now it's, this is more pocket nines. We got it, got to get out of here. Okay. As still as like a normal setup wins the challenge, we're good. Left side, we try to put ourselves in the position to win the challenge by just like blasting our way 250 bucks at least. Bluff failed against the turn two pair. Absolutely fine. If he had king 10 and jack 10, he would have played the same and folded river probably, I would say. So I'm, I'm fine with my play just for the challenge. I think it's like a slightly bad turn bluff in reality but like not that bad that it was really burning money. So actually, I mean, I restarted the $50 table. We won't make it to the 500. They are in seven minutes left on the clock. And actually we need to, we need to go crazy. I'm ready to light the money on fire for the challenge, seven minutes. Ooh, this is our spot. This is our spot. Definitely see betting here. Definitely see betting here. Oh, you hope for them to call just to build a pot no matter what happens. And on the left side, I'm still playing that table. You can watch that, but I will focus on the right one. Go a little crazy. Yeah, I think I need to widen my ranges a little more now. Six and a half minutes on the clock. $125 to go. That's 60 big blinds, 62 big blinds. Seven starting to see bad. And the pool needs to run faster now. King deuce off. I'm not sure how much I like those random bullshit defense. So I rather click a snap fold because this hand won't win me 60 blinds ever. This hand won't win me 60 blinds. Five, three off. I can race that first in for sure. King five off. We are really going loose now really going loose in position first in we can win 60 blinds with any hand pretty much this has a high card we can flop a two pair but they are stalling they are teaming up to play against the challenge ace 10 8 with this hand there's no way i win 60 blinds so maybe with a crazy bluff against him okay let's check it down let's let's play it let's play it fast left side i go for stab let's get three dollars in hey pay me the 1.5 big ones pay me sir all right so now it's really 60 big blinds. Just a little over five minutes on the clock. Ace nine, here we go. You can actually increase the sizing as well. That makes a lot of sense. Let me know in the comments, how would you adjust that? Five minutes on the clock, you need to win 60 blinds. What do you do, All right? We could jam now, for example. Last hand, I'm jamming here. With better spots, this is not winning. Like hitting an ace or a nine is not winning us 60 blinds. So like last hand against the three bet, we're jamming. We're freaking jamming and take our 30% equity. Yeah, let me know in the comments, how would you adjust like how crazy loose, how crazy bluffing, how much do you look at hands that can actually win you 60 blinds at some point, right? You need to beat something that calls down for 60 blinds. It's tough to win 60 blinds with bluffing. And fourth, like cold four betting four five suited won't help me. It's like the random, I can stick it in, but like the last X hands, last two minutes, I'm sticking in like ace X suited, hope to get a call. If he has kings, I'm happy, right? Gives myself a chance to win the challenge. Six, three off. Is it better to fast fold? Oh, it's better to fast fold in a small blind. I'll wait for those guys. They tank too long. Tendu suited, perfect three bet. Let's go crazy. Perfect three bet. Still four minutes. We can play a couple of hands still. So let's increase sizing there with the three bets as well. They don't know we are playing the challenge. They don't know we are crazy. Boom, two pair. Let's play normal then. Wow, this is our spot. Get the call, get the race, get it in there. He has ace queen. He has ace queen, guys. He has freaking ace queen. My brain is not working anymore. I should have bet the sizing where like, even if he folds the river with a busted flush draw, then we get win the challenge something. I think now this is now $100 that I win. If he calls now, yeah, but like 80, betting $80 is a stretch. So, ooh, he has ace queen. He has ace queen, guys. Call. Oh, hopefully not a flush draw. Hopefully not a flush draw. This is our spot. I mean, I cannot fold. This is my shot to win the challenge. But the best spot to win the challenge is actually, I need like $40 more, right? If he pays me, like I win this, this 470, like 35. So he can either bluff or he pays me off. Like jamming doesn't make sense. This wins us the challenge if he bluffs or if he calls something worse. Like this is if Stars is against us and he just binks a flush that he tanked with. Like which flush that is not a 12 altar does he tank with on the turn with? He tanked on the turn. Like maybe king eight of hearts because I bet really big on the turn. The king eight of hearts might think about the fall on the turn. Everything else is like 10x is like just calling. Fold. Ooh. Okay, one and a half minutes on the clock, $20 to go. I mean, I cannot give up like... I will be all in like the next single race pot I'm playing pretty much. Triple barrel river all in. But I have a couple of spots. I need to have the best spot possible. King and off first indefinitely part of it. I'm not giving up a single pot anymore. Six. We have one minute left. What the fuck? Call. Okay, this is triple barrel all in. 20 seconds left. I need to go with it. 20 seconds left. I don't have the time to win 20 bucks. We have to go with it. Ace king, bluff. Let's go. We did it. 
All right, let's finish with those aces there on the left. We found a bluff. We freaking ripped pocket sevens into his squeeze. And we get like, oh, he doesn't have even a stack. Like aces is a lot. <laughs> this would have been easier on the right side. Okay, that was kind of a sweat with a freaking 10 deuce suited with like the, I think I, I love my $35 play there on the, on the river. We got the fold. I was ready to blast any pot to get the call call fold with a five times river shove. I, I needed to jam sevens in the end. Another aces. Well, that would have been so easy on 200. But yeah, I hope you like the sweat i enjoyed the session a lot now it's like 30 minutes 30 seconds but actually the sevens were just in time it was like 29 40 on the clock something like that so yeah thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it i had a blast having some fun here and see you for the next one i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to support the channel and stay always up to date then leave a subscribe here or check out our next video